Hi, my name is Mark Everett, and in my previous videos, I've concentrated on the cabinet blocks category of the block factory. In this particular video, I'm going to uh, give you a, an overview of the cabinet sections that are part of the block factory package, uh, which uh, go hand in hand with those cabinets, uh, cabinet elevations. So um, basically what I've done is I've created cabinet sections that go along with those cabinet elevations. And because some of my clients use uh, datoed backs, I created a group of cabinets with datoed backs. <clears throat> and excuse me. And, uh, and I've also created a set that has through backs. So basically what I have is base cabinets, wall cabinets, and tall cabinets for each of those categories. Now, what I'd like to do is do, um, let's use the, the data cabinets um, as a demonstration here. Um, basically, with a wall cabinet, I'll have, um, basically, this wall cabinet here creates all these wall cabinets here. So within each one of these pre-sized pre cabinets with dimensions, um, the wall cabinet here is included in each one of these, and then so on this wall cabinet is included as part of these blocks here and so on. So what I'll do is I'll take this particular one, I'm going to copy it to my clipboard and then I'm going to create uh, a new drawing and bring this uh, cabinet block into there. Now what I'll do is I'll explode this particular block now that I'm in my present drawing and you'll notice this block here, which is the wall hatch behind it. That's a separate block, and I'll probably demonstrate that in another video. But that can be, you know, separately removed from this cabinet itself. But for now, we'll just leave it there. Now, with this wall cabinet, I can, um, I have different visibility states. One is with the scribe, which is right here. And I can also um, turn that scribe off. I can turn the scribe on, but no shelves, and that's for like if I had a, a smaller height cabinet. And then lastly, I can turn off the filler <clears throat> also, and no shelves inside. For right now, we'll leave it uh, leave it as the first one. Now, within this cabinet block, um, I can change the back size anywhere. I've predetermined sizes. I think it's quarter inch, half inch, and three quarters. So I can change this to half inch or three quarters. I can also do this by having my quick properties open here. You can see all the predetermined um, uh, parameters and, uh, and actions associated with this particular block. So I could actually go over here to where it says cabinet backs and you'll see I have three different sizes here. Now also the cleat space can be changed and I have predetermined from no cleat space all the way up to three quarters. And again, I can do that, you know, same thing by just selecting it here. So let's we'll just go back to three quarters. I also can change, uh, depending on if I wanted to make this a taller cabinet, you won't get too much further past 36, maybe a 42, maybe a 48 inch cabinet, that you'll have to add uh, more um, hinges in here. So I've actually created an additional hinge for those particular cabinets. Um, for taller cabinets, you'd have to go, you know, add other hinges in. You can also change the uh, pinholes and also you can I've added, I have three shelves within this particular block so you can add them as you need them. You can take them away and just stack them on top of each other if you don't need them. So for right now I'll just leave that one here. Uh, let's see, what else can we do with this? Um, this cabinet pool, as in the cabinet blocks, is part of the blocks, but uh, we'll go into that in another video. Let's talk about, real quick here, um, stretching the width of this cat or depth of this cabinet. Say I wanted to change it from 13 to 15. Let's undo that. Let's stretch this from 13, go two inches deeper to 15, and just stretch that to 15, and that's done. And then we could just change this here also. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, maybe I'll come out with some more videos, but uh, thank you very much.